He is a poor little lamb who has lost his way and also his bladder control. Oh, that's... he is a poor and also. All right, I'm almost getting used to the, the hey, controls. Don't touch your merchandise. I'm not your cabin boy anymore. He must have an interesting past. You reel back at the putrid stench of the offensive bum who can probably hear every word we're saying about him. He's pretty well dressed for a bum. It's a beer sign playing off the Bush Beer slogan. Bush Beer gives you great head. Swallow after swallow. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. It's a beer sign. All right. There's no conceivable way this sign could help you get the girls. It's a girly lamp like you'd find in any swingin' bachelor's rumpus room. Just like in my house. The lamp is useless without its shade, or even with it. There is a single lovely long-stemmed red rose in a delicate bud vase standing incongruously on a keg. I think it really brings the room together. Thoughts of romance are awakened as the scent of the red rose reaches your nostrils. You deftly pluck the rose from the vase and carry it with you. I gotta keep smelling himself. What the hell? It's an old sign from a loading zone. You didn't know Lefty was into boxing. Oh god. Oh, the cheesy the co the cheesy comedy, almost a cheesy horror. What? You didn't know Lefty was into Ooh, hello. This is one of those gag rifle displays. When you clap or press the button, the gun starts wiggling like a fish and then shoots you in the chest. I want to clap. It's totally out of reach, which is just as well. Lefty isn't insured. It's a poster of supermodel Sweet Cheeks Marie Bonds, a model with a thing for men in uniform. I'm going to take that, put it in the old uh, pad. The poster is permanently spattered to the wall. Ooh. It's a poster of supermodel B. Wankmeister. For her work entertaining the troops, she earned the slogan, the face that erected a million pup tents. <laughs> you can't take it with you. Hey, that's catchy. <laughs> it's a grouper. Its turn-ons include swimming at the beach, quiet times, and not being mounted on a plaque. This isn't one of those fish that flops and sings. It just Aww. hangs there, and you can't do anything with it. A feeling not entirely unfamiliar to you. <laughs> hey, how do you know me so well? Some say Lefty used to have a floating poker game in this back room. Well, let's see what's going this on. This door then. is permanently nailed shut. You'll just have to wait for a sequel to find out what's behind it. <laughs> DLC. It's a puzzle. See if you can decode it yourself. All right, I'll open the door. The John. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh. Lefty's restroom walls are filled with clever reading material, enough to keep you reading for a long, long time. This toilet looks disgusting on the outside, but you have to look past the surface putrefaction and try to see its inner virulence. <laughs> oh! You oh. grab an ancient copy of Flutter, the magazine of nude skydiving, and settle in to <laughs> sit and think. You feel a great relief. <laughs> What's that aroma? Flutter. <laughs> the skydiving, nude skydiving, wow. It's you, Larry. Larry Laffer. Remember? Oh, I wanted to say, oh, it's you taking a shit. You quickly check your fly by zipping it up and down a few times. Zips up, zips down in an instant for easy access. <laughs> yeah, baby. What's up, ladies? This toilet has been provided with a handle for those customers of lefties sophisticated enough to understand its operation. <laughs> Uh, that's disgusting when people go to the bathroom somewhere and don't flush. What the fuck's wrong with you? Carefully finishing your duties, you wipe and toss the newspaper behind the toilet for the next user. Oh. Don't do it, Larry! Too late! Oh god. The toilet begins to fill. Realizing your mistake, you quickly jiggle the handle, attempting to stem the onrushing tide of water. As the water reaches your head, your life flushes before your eyes. You doze briefly. 
Turns out, a flush beats everything. Sometimes oh. good manners are a bad idea, eh, Larry? <laughs> oh, I love getting killed by random things. You know how dirty this floor is? It used to be purple. <laughs> what? Alright, so let's go back and take a dump, because, I mean, that's important. You grab an ancient copy of You Feel a Great... What's that aroma? Let's go grab this. Carefully finishing your duties, you wipe and toss the newspaper behind the toilet for the next user. Score! Let's check our inventory. Look at the ring. I meant to look at it first. Whoa, damn. When you gaze deep into the diamond, you seem to hear the sound of wedding bells and maybe diesel trucks. The porcelain has that glazed look. Hey, just like you. And everything you eat for breakfast. Oh. You turn on the hot tap. Immediately, steam starts to chug from the spigot. Technically, steam is invisible. This is water vapor, but nobody likes a narrating smartass. You notice some <laughs> writing in the mirror. Ken sent me. That could be important. I'll have to remember it. You grab a scrap of toilet paper and, cleverly chewing one of your fingernails to the quick, you scrawl the words Ken sent me in blood on the paper. <laughs> what? You turn off the hot tap and the mist slowly clears. <laughs> what? You look closely in the mirror. In this light, I can really see the blackheads. All right! All right. Jesus Christ. You can't open it. It just hangs there mocking you. Of course, you're used to things just hanging there mocking you. Yeah, I am. Uh, let's lick the toilet. My, my. Aren't we the little sicko today? <laughs> Yes. The bathroom is well stocked with growling lumberjack brand number 60 coarse grit toilet paper. Growling lumberjack? You're already well wiped. Thank God. <laughs> These cartons of asbestos ceiling tiles were in a flood, <laughs> so they're moldy and caked with dried sewage. You can't get closer to death in a box. I want a death in These, a box. You can't get close. I want death in a box! People should stay as far away from these boxes as possible. Which is a shame, because it's a tiny room and people have to use it all the time. I want to talk to the mirror. I'm just wasting my breath talking to you, aren't I? Let's look at the Piles magazines. of magazines sit on the floor. <laughs> Biggins, Beaver Hunt, I can't read the others. Buried under the usual skin mags are some real collector's items. One of them is juicy Japanese and Jewish. <laughs> ah, how did they know my perp, my kink? I like that the one combination that really gets me going. Uh, can I unzip and just walk around and zip? You quickly check your fly by zipping it up and down. Zips up. Zip. All right, all right. These cartons of asbestos see all you right, can't we get. Did that already? Lights. Despite the harsh glow of the lamps, the grime has light-absorbing properties that keep the room feeling dim. Alright, let's head out. I don't mind the... Your breath is repug... repug... Your breath is bad. Alright, thank you. I like how he grabs his crotch a lot, just like in real life. I've missed the speech Wanting bubble. to be humane to the drunk, you clap him firmly on the shoulder, stroke his head, pat his hand, and get up close to him. So tell me, how are you doing? Ah, oh, thanks for asking, Wally. I'd be just great if only my impetigo would clear up. <laughs> oh. He is a poor- And also- Damn it, come on, there we go. Once more, you get close, but not too close to the drunk. Have you thought about going to a doctor? Nah, uh, you go to a doctor and they just want to make you better. Then you get sick again and you start this cycle of destruction. No thank you. Alright, I think we've talked to him quite enough. Start with the people out here, I can Hey dork, you got toilet paper stuck to your shoe. <laughs> I think you need a breath mint. Or better yet, try chewing on an airwick. <laughs> an airwick? Uh, yeah, let's use our breath mint. Uh, let's see. 
this I use? Oh god. There we go. Ah! <laughs> you want some, That's baby? not the person with chronic halitosis. I guess that would be me. Alright, let's talk to these people. I forgot to so use Michael, the speech bubble. You know any good pickup lines? I don't need lines. I speak from the heart. And my mouth. You are a renaissance man. You must be tired. You've been running through my mind all day. I know. But you keep following me anyway. Sorry if this sounds a little squirrely, baby. But I'd like to store you in my cheek pouches for a snowy day. Really? What? I'd like to crack your skull like a nut and bury your brains in the park. Alrighty then. We're really starting to make a connection, eh? Ah, I wish it was long distance. <laughs> God, I love all these cheesy back and forths. You must be tired. You've been running through my mind. I know. How's it hanging? By the angle of the dangle and the heat of the meat. <laughs> Classy. I'm gonna throw over that one to use in, uh, I have no idea. Any advice for a visitor to the area? Sure, pal. Always be GGG. GGG? Gambling, groping, and goosing. Ha ha ha! You're a charmer. Isn't gooping, goosing, and groping kind? Of, I guess it's not quite the same. Hey, know any good yeah. jokes? Ain't you been listening? Yeah, that's why I asked. But a bump. Know any good jokes? Ain't you been listening? Yeah. I guess people don't mess around with you. They misjudge me. For instance, just because I know 1,001 ways to inflict pain on the human body doesn't mean I like to hurt people. I suddenly have to go. Nah, I get that a lot. I guess people don't mess around with- They miss I suddenly- nah, I get- You've really got the boyish devil may care thing down, Tom. I'm jealous. Well, it can't be learned. You've really got the- Well, not a lot of ladies around here. I know where we can find some sheep. I'm not there um, yet. <laughs> not there yet. Not a lot of ladies around. Uh, no. I'm not there yet. Have a seat at the bar first. What do you think this is? Some dive even cruddier than this? <laughs> that guy's like, oh, come on. You take a seat on an available bar stool. And even though I did play this many years ago, I didn't play it when it was new. I, I definitely played it after... Pretty much the series went downhill. I do not remember most of the puzzles, so that's good slash bad. Hello! What'll it be? <laughs> Wussy champagne. Mike was here again. Wine, light beer, vodka, beer. How about a round? Are you sure? It'll cost you $90. Oh, I can't afford it. Hello! What'll it be? Uh, champagne. I ain't selling no sissy drinks here. Try again. Why is it on your menu, Hello? jackass? Libby. <laughs> what a dick. May I please have a glass of your delicate white Zinfandel, sir? Hey, was that your voice? I wish this had a. That'd like... be five dollars, please. You flip five bucks onto the counter. You delicately sip the wine until it's all gone. I find this impudent and sassy, with the slightest hint of impertinence. Suddenly, you feel a little woozy. Oh, great. This it's better to remain silent and be thought a fool, than to speak and remove all doubt that you're Larry. Echo! The sound bounces around in your head for a few seconds. Awesome! <laughs> Jesus. I right, actually, I want to try to give... Let's go into our inventory. Blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna try to give... Bucks, same as in town. <laughs> so, what was the setup to that punchline? I don't know. I missed that. Let's see if we can't give the ring to her. Make this our active item. Make this our active item. I think that worked. Um... 25 bucks, same as in town. <laughs> What? So, what was the setup to that punchline? I think I keep. Yeah. You feel a little lightheaded. Oh, great. You're unsure if you'll be able to walk straight. 
Even I could hold my liquor better than this. I don't Shaking drink your at all. head, you finally clear away the cobwebs and are once again able to walk in your standard studly style. Thank God you for that. You can't just walk around proposing to everyone. Wait till someone asks you for a ring. All right. All right, so let's go and talk to the door. No one can hear you through the door. All right, in that case, let's knock on the door. And we'll give that uh, password we saw on the bathroom. Naga hide door. Yeah. What's the password? Ah, shit. I gotta select it. Doo -doo. You read off the strange password you discovered in the John. Uh, Ken sent me? Come on in. Damn right I will. Oh, is this the guy? Yeah. Ah, you recognize this setup from a number of art films you've viewed. The gentleman before you is basically working the front desk. His employee is upstairs, waiting to provide quick expert services to a discriminating clientele. All right. Time to get a hooker. I like how the animals, uh, the other half of them are over here. That's some impressive tale. Oh. Uh... Well, someone's got to say it. That's one handsome moose ass. If you only had a dime for every time you said that. Spank that you moose ass. You stroke the moose. Oh. Nice moosey. There's a good moosey. The what? moose snorts gently. Larry, you have such a gentle way with wild animals. And for a change, you're using that power for good instead of evil. I'm going to start using that expression. Mom, don't come in here. I'm stroking the moose. Lefties used to have bowls of free nuts at the bar, provided by these nuts, TM, <laughs> in exchange for promotional consideration. Note, the TM trademark symbol is a registered trademark of Trademark Registry, Inc., a wholly owned subsidiary of Copyright Registered Trademarks, LLC. <laughs> these nuts. Lefty, no. Lefty, no. no. Lefty, no. note. God damn it. It's just a junky old poster. Let it molder in peace. A stick of the you can't poop. believe all the crap Lefty collects. Can I take some of the crap? You gingerly poke around in the pile, looking for something useful. To your great relief, you find nothing. Quick! Whip out your Leisure Suit Larry scratch and sniff card and scratch number four. If you purchase this game digitally, or if there's no scratch and sniff card in your game box, you may purchase replacement cards for only $249.99. Right click or left click on anything to continue your in app purchase. Your purchase <laughs> is complete. Thank you. Publisher's note there is no scratch and sniff card, there is no in app purchase. This is all a joke. Please send angry mail directly below. Huh. Allo is the guy who created the original. If you were not aware, let's take out the pimp. That's would-be recording artist and full-time pimp, Prodigious P. He seems to be looking at the TV with frustration. His name is PP. Let's touch the pimp. You finger the pimp's outrageous threads. You like Prodigious P's style? Of course you do. You got style too. Just that yours is a little more, hmm, dweebitated. I don't know what that word means. He smells like he wears l'air du temps, but not today. What's happening, man? Just hanging out. What's upstairs? Nothing you'll ever get to see. Why? What is it? It's a woman, little man, and she's too much for you. You're not getting by me. Just put it out of your head. Well, that just makes me want to go up there even more, right? Makes me want to figure out a way to get past you. You're new at this, aren't you? <laughs> I like the cabinet with all the sex toys, the butt plugs. I doubt that I know what butt plugs look like. Hey, let's look at this TV. Uh, it's you, Larry. No. There's one of those old-fashioned TV remotes from back when they had fewer than 80 buttons. <laughs> let's pick it up. Since nobody seems to be using it, you glom the remote. Look at the TV. This old TV is in sad shape. The on, off, and channel dials are missing. How can you even turn it on? Uh, I don't know. It's a mystery. 
There are no working controls on the TV set, and no good reason to take it. Well, there's always a good reason to steal a TV. 